Okay, so we're going to be on page 50, and we're going to jump back and forth from Desmos, uh, and you could do this manually if you wanted to, but number one, they don't give us enough room um, to actually, you know, just plug in all the numbers and, and find all the values of f of x. Uh, number two, they don't, uh, I think it's, it's, it's good to practice on Desmos, especially uh, if you're going to be taking the state test later on. And also number three, uh, third reason is because um, it's just much easier as you'll see. So let's jump into question number one. And uh, we have the uh, domain values right here. Uh, the, the x values right there, zero through six. And let's find out what the range values are gonna be for f of x and g of x. Okay, so uh, we'll jump straight into Desmos and let's just uh, write the f of x as it is. So f of x, equals what is that 30 plus 5x 30 plus 5x okay so it'll give us this line and i'm gonna zoom out here just so we can kind of see it um the graph really isn't that important at this point we want to know what the table is going to be and then unfortunate thing is it won't just plug in f of x for us we're going to actually plug in the function manually here f, f uh, 30 plus 5x and then all we have to do is just fill in the values that we want we wanted 0 through 6 so 0 uh, 1 2 no not 20 2 3 4 5 and 6 and as you can see the nice thing is you don't have to do any of the calculation the calculator will do that for you so um, going by uh, uh, the uh, the rate is 5 so you're going from 30 to 60 by increments of 5 so let's go ahead and fill that table in starting from 30 35 40 45 50 55 and 60 and then we have the g of x value so let's jump back into Desmos again and do the same thing for g of x g of x oops I didn't do that correctly g of x uh, equals, what is that, 45 plus 2x, 45 plus 2x. Okay, there we go. So we can see that it interacts at that point right here at 5, 55. Um, but let's fill in tail values. So we need to do this manually again. We're going to do 45 plus 2x. And oops, I did 4, 45 plus 2x. That'll change our numbers drastically. So and then we want 0 through 6 again. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So there we go. We're starting at 45 and increasing by increments of 2 since our slope is 2. So let's jump back in there and go 45, 47, 49. 51, 53, 55, and 57. And so if we go ahead and graph this, we'll see our, uh, for the f of x, we're, our y-intercept is there at 30. So from 30 to that intersection point there, I'm gonna make this a little longer and then move it over. So there we go, there's our, there's our first line. So that's the f of x. And I should have made it a different color. Let's make g of x a different color. Let's make this green. And the g of x is going to have an intercept of 45. So right there, through that intersection point right there. So I'm going to make that longer as well. And move it over. Uh, something like that. <laughs> So that's the g of x. G of uh, lower. Let's do lowercase g. G of x. Okay. So that is the graph. Okay. Let's do the same thing for question number two. Okay. So let's go back here and just cancel everything out here. X x x x. Okay. So uh, the first one was f of x is equal to what is a hundred plus. 25x 25x okay there we go that was the first one so let's go ahead and do the same exact thing we're going to duplicate and make a table out of this one uh, and copy over the uh, the values here 100 or the uh, equation there 25x 
And this time we want the values 0 through negative 4 incremental. So 0, or negative 1, negative 2, 2, uh, negative 3, and negative 4. Okay, so as you can see, we're going from 100 all the way down to 0 in increments of 25 since our slope is 25. So let's see, this is going to be 100. Oops, let's make, let's go back to f of x being blue, shall we? Um, 100, 75, 50, 25, and 0. And for g of x, let's try it again. g of x equals 55 plus 10x. Okay, so... Our intersection points right there at negative three comma twenty five. So let's see. Um, do, do, do. Let's go back. Oh, we need the uh, table values. Sorry, table values. Duplicate. Create the table. Um, and instead of g of x, we're going to put fifty five plus ten x. Okay. And we want the values zero through negative two, negative or sorry, negative four, two. Negative 3 and negative 4. Okay, so we're going from 55 all the way down to 15 in increments of 10 since our slope is 10. So 55, 45, 35, 25 to 15. Okay, so our intersection point was negative 3, 25. So this graph actually really isn't going to help us. But um, let's see, what's. What's uh, the zero here? Is it negative four? Is, is that where it crosses um, the x-axis at least? I think it is. I'll, I'll double check in a second here. I'll move this over as best as I can, something like that. Right. So there's our f of x line, and let's make our um, g of x line a little bit differently. The intercept there is 55, which also doesn't really help. But um, our, let me see, our intercept point, our y intercept is at negative five and a half. Negative five and a half, so kind of over here ish, right? So this graph doesn't really lend itself very well to what we're trying to do here. Uh, something like that. So there's our g of x line. So that's, that's the best we can do for now, right? Where the intersection point, I know it's not perfect, is right there. Okay, that was question number two. We're going to go ahead and jump over to question number 52. Let's see. Or sorry, not question number, page number 52. So um, in question number one, we're going to, or in these questions, we're going to create one variable equations. And the first one is done for us. We're going to write a one variable equation for the charges of dog walker A. Um, where dog walker A charges five dollars a day and one dollar per hour, so five dollars a day and one dollar per hour. And you might be asking yourself, where's the one dollar? Well, we don't really write it, but that coefficient of one is kind of invisible. We just write x in that case because the one would be redundant. So um, that's number one. And number two, dog walker B charges six dollars a day and fifty cents per hour. So the six dollars per day. Is going to be the one-time fee, just like the five dollar is the one-time fee, and then fifty cents per hour. So plus zero point five times x, or whatever, um, whatever variable you want to use. In this case, we're using g of x, so we want to keep going with the x variable here. Okay. Question number three: Complete the table for f of x and g of x given um, given those two equations. I, I'm so I'm I'm guessing for f of x and g of x. So at zero hours, you can kind of do these in your head. These are easy enough where you can do these in your head. If you plug in zero for x, five plus zero is five, therefore we get the five. And the same thing uh, for uh, the g of x. Zero times 0 0.5 is zero. Six plus zero is six, therefore we go with that six. So let's go ahead and fill in these values. If we plugged in, um, if we put plugged in one for x, right? Five plus one is six. Plug in two, five plus two would be seven. If we plug in three, five plus three would be eight. And going from there, if we plugged in one over here in the g of x, 
1 times 0 0.5 is just 0 0.5, so 6 plus 0 0.5 is going to be 6.5. And then next, uh, if we multiply it by 2, 0 0.5 or 1 half times 2 is 1, so 6 plus 1 is 7. And then we're going in increments of, of 0 0.5, so we'd get to 7.5. So those are our values. Let's go ahead and graph them. Um, let's graph the first one. 0, 0,5. We are right about here. 0, 0,5. You know what? Let's go back to f of x being blue, just so we can differentiate these lines a little bit. 0, 0,5 is right there. Oh, not that's 0, 0,7. 0, 0,5 is right there. Um, and then 1, 0,6. And and again, I'm getting these very these values here. 1, 0,6. So 1, 0,6. 2 comma 7 3 comma 8 so this is the line this is the line of, of, of g of x the g of x uh, there we go there's the f of x and then let's do g of x in green and not that green let's do this green so 0 comma 6 is right here and then we got what is it 1 comma 6 and a half uh, so kind of right there 2 comma 7 is gonna be right there so there's our intersection point 3 comma uh, 7 and a half will be right there so not as steep as the f of x line but somewhat close to it so something like that and then let's move it over And that is our f of x line, or g of x line. So interpret the solution in context. So at so our intersection point is right there. So at two hours, both dog walkers will charge seven dollars. Right, and we can see that right here as well. At, at two hours, both dog walkers charge seven dollars. Okay, so for question number six, um, we're actually going to go ahead and just keep using Desmos because a couple of reasons. It's a little bit inconvenient to figure out how to graph this thing, and they, that's what one of the things they want you to do. But since they had us use Desmos um, previously, I'm going to continue that. It's just easier, plus we get some practice. Uh, and um, I like it. It's fun. So let's keep going with that. So we have uh, Amelia and Keith here. They need a wedding singer. Uh, I'm assuming Amelia and Keith are the people that are getting married. Uh, and wedding singer A is offering her services for an initial $50.00 and a $20 per hour rate. So wedding singer A, oops, let me get a pen. A is $50 initial fee plus a $20 rate. That changes uh, depending on how many hours she sings for. And then wedding singer B is going to charge uh, his services for a lot higher fee but a lot lower rate, so $10 per hour. So they want to know when will these two be equal. So let's go ahead and jump over back to Desmos and try to figure this out. Let's let's find out what Wedding Singer A is going to, uh, or the, what the line of Wedding Singer A is going to look like. So 50 plus 2x. Okay, so uh, let me zoom out here. So kind of like something like that. And then we have Wedding Singer, um, Wedding Singer B equals what was it? $100 plus ten dollars an hour so something like that um, hundred plus 10x so there we go so um, let me see hundred plus 10x is that right this graph doesn't look right to me Here's a big mistake I made. I don't know if you guys caught it. It didn't look right because this is supposed to be a 20x. So there's our learning experience there. Um, now, uh, our window's kind of weird, right? It, it's very tall and narrow. So I'm going to change our x-axis here. Instead of going all the way to 137, we really, really needed, needed to go to 6. So let, let's go from... Let's go from zero to let's go to let's make it ten. Nice even ten. Okay, so there it is. Um, right, so something like that, right? Something like that, and we want to find the intersection point. The intersection point is right there at five comma one fifty. So that is actually our answer. If you graphed it accurately, that's what it would look like. So let's jump back to uh, Desmos. Um, 
So our intersection point again is at 5 comma 150, right about here. And so for for A, let's see, our intercept would have been 50 to here. So this is the graph of um, Wedding Singer A. And then let's see, let's make Wedding Singer B into a green line. Wedding Singer B would have been, would have started at a $100 fee and then gone from there and, and met uh, right there. Okay, so there's our answer. 5 comma 150. Now we could have done this algebraically, we could have made tables, we could have done this uh, any variety of ways, but um, we did it graphically. So there. Um, so interpret the solution in context. What this means, what the 5 comma 150 means is at 5 hours, both wedding singers will charge one hundred and fifty dollars. Oops, one hundred. Oh my God, that's terrible. Uh, one hundred and fifty dollars.